going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my videos. So in today's video, guys, I'm gonna be going over how I personally organize my wardrobe. Now, this is something that I thought I would do because I just moved into a new place and I had slightly smaller space compared to the last place that I have, or at least I think so. But I managed to organize everything and I thought I'll show you guys how I usually tend to organize my wardrobe from jackets to t-shirts to shirts to shoes and everything. So we're gonna hop right into it. I'm gonna go over all the details and the little things that I personally like to do. So if you enjoy the content, guys, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. And without further ado, let's hop into it. Okay, so starting off with um, the first bits in my wardrobe. What I usually tend to do is, as the season changes, I usually tend to put some of my stuff, like right now we're moving into the summer. So I've put most of my winter coats in the back and in the, in the back and in the front. And then I leave some of the things that I usually tend to wear during the summer and spring where I can see it, right? So like the white shirts, the black tees and some of the lighter coats that I usually tend to wear in the spring. So uh, getting right into it. So in the back here, I have just my regular sort of like winter coats. So I have my uh, a couple pieces here, my Club Monaco, a couple of suit jackets as well that I usually tend to wear here and there that I don't wear that much. And then um, the heaviest coat that I have right in the front is my puffer jacket. Now for a puffer jacket, I do still tend to wear it during the spring season because uh, in Canada, spring is a bit all over the place. You have some days where it's extremely hot and some other days where it's like really cold. I guess like anywhere really, like um, the spring tends to change quite a lot in terms of weather. So I do tend to keep at least one um, jacket or one puffer that I know I can just rock whenever it's kind of a little bit chilly. So this is my gray puffer from Asclo. So I have it at the end here. I try to coordinate colors. So in most cases, I'll have sort of my neutral one, like black and white right in the front because that's what I usually tend to wear quite a lot and my colors a bit further down. So getting right into the first bits, we have just the shirts. So here, uh, the first bit here is just shirts. So shirts that I usually tend to wear quite a lot during the spring, maybe when I'm layering pieces or when I'm just throwing on a tank top and a shirt. So um, we'll have something like this, like my wool um, shirt from Simon's that I would uh, have right in front of me here because this one I do tend to wear it quite a lot during the spring. After the shirts, I have my lighter sort of like layering pieces. Now, as you guys know, I love layering uh, vests and tank tops. So um, the vest, I usually also have them right in the front where I can see them just because I do tend to gravitate towards them during the spring season. Just because like in the spring, you're still not done layering, you know, you're still rocking some layers here and there. And I always find vests to be such a good uh, garment to lean towards during the spring season, especially. So I have my a cold wool vest here that you guys have seen me wear countless times on my uh, Instagram. So I have it right here and usually I just tend to gravitate towards this one quite a lot. And then um, I have like my Como Young as well. This one I really like as well because um, I do tend to wear it quite a lot during the, um, um, the winter season, but also during the spring season. I think it's a great uh, vest to kind of throw on with like a long coat and a tank top underneath. I think this looks really good with a lot of my outfits. So I do tend to gravitate towards this one quite a lot. Um, and then finally we have um, this, uh, Art comes first one. Um, this one here, uh, this one I haven't gotten that much wear out of, but I still love it. Like I still um, can see myself wearing it during the spring season. So um, I've included it here as well. Now, one of the things that I like to do with certain pieces that I don't wear that, that often, or that I'm not getting uh, that much wear out of, I like to put them in the back of my wardrobe. So whether, like I said, uh, the coats and the jackets that are for winter will be in the back and also some of like the t-shirts or like vests or like things that I'm not necessarily getting a lot of wear out of at the moment. Um, just because I don't know, maybe I'm not inspired to wear it or maybe I'm just not uh, feeling it at in this particular sort of time. I usually tend to put them in the back and um, ultimately if I kind of feel like I've, I've found something to wear them with, then whew, I'm, out of, I'm out of breath. If I feel like I found something to wear them with, then I'll bring them back into the forefront. And then here, um, I have my t-shirts. Wow. 
now. Um, we're currently transitioning into the summer, into the spring and summer. So um, my t-shirts, they kind of, my t-shirts and sweatshirts uh, go at the forefront as well. So um, again, black, we're still sort of in the black um, category here. So we have these two sweatshirts that I usually tend to wear quite a lot during the um, spring season. Um, this one was recently gifted. I did a video where I styled it with my undercover uh, pants. Love it, been getting a lot of wear out of it, especially right now because the weather is a bit all over the place. And then we have this Christian Dada one, which I used to get so much wear out of um, when I was still kind of commuting to work. I haven't worn it that much, but I'm sure I'll start wearing it soon just because it's spring now, especially like on spring um, evenings. I feel like this sweater is, is perfect for that type of weather. So yeah, um, and then, um, yeah, and then the rest is just more so like t-shirts. So um, I have like, this Maison Mihara t-shirt here that you guys have also seen me wear countless times. I've had this one for quite a while actually, and I still do tend to get a lot of wear out of, but this one is more so for the summer when I just kind of feel like throwing on a t-shirt. Um, and then, yeah, and then the rest is just like my Rick Owens t-shirt here. That's a bit dirty. Um, now, one thing that I like doing actually um, is I'll kind of check uh, when I'm transitioning um, into uh, a different season. I'll tend to check some of the pieces that need to be taken to the dry cleaner. I know a lot of people always ask me like, you know, how do you keep your clothes clean? Like I know, for example, my Lueve jeans, people always ask me like, how do you keep sort of, um, if you guys can see this white part clean. And I always say that like, first of all, I don't get that much wear out of them. And on top of that, I usually tend to go and get my pieces dry cleaned at least once every two months or once every month because quite frankly like I am not when I'm wearing my nicer clothes I'm not necessarily you know I don't know I don't, I don't get them dirty so I, I really can't get them washed all that often so anyway um, moving on into my whites so my whites usually is just simple stuff like um, I have sort of these uh, these shirts like I'm like I said um, this is something that for example I'll would, I would need to go get dry cleaned as you guys can see it's quite dirty um, so I have this, I have sort of all my t-shirts as well, um, my white tees. Right now I actually only, honestly don't have that many white tees. I, I just have this one Uniqlo one that I've already been getting quite a bit of wear out of just because over the last um, couple of uh, weeks it's gotten pretty hot. We've had really, really good spring days. So I've been wearing this quite often so that's why I have it right in front here. A uh, really good t-shirt. Uh, I'm actually thinking of picking up more Uniqlo tees and doing a video uh, on these Uniqlo tees because they're just so good and the price point is great and they're just such a good uh, piece to have during the spring and the summer season. All right, so um, this is the second part of the wardrobe. Again, um, quite a few black pieces, but then you can see here in the middle, we have all the colors. I'm really trying to incorporate more colors here and there in my wardrobe. I think, um, you know, especially coming out of like such a long uh, winter season, as you guys know, I'm based in Canada and Montreal and the winters are pretty brutal here. Like it's pretty cold. So in a lot of cases, I'm usually all wearing all black. So trying to incorporate a bit more colors into my wardrobe, I tend to put them all together, um, just so I have um, a bit more of a visual when I'm kind of choosing what I'm gonna wear, or if I'm going to take outfit pictures, um, I just have more of a, of a clear sort of uh, look as to what potentially I could wear um, an item with. Um, and then in the back here, I actually have my jeans. So in most cases, I do tend to hang my jeans as well. So um, a lot of the time, I kind of keep them right next to either my shirts or my um, sweatshirts, just because in a lot of cases, I'm kind of wearing trousers with either sweatshirts or t-shirts or long jackets. All right, so finally to conclude, we have this rack right here. Now, this rack, what I've actually been doing recently is kind of changing it up depending on the season. So currently we are sort of into spring or heading into the spring, and I've kind of just decided to incorporate a bit more colors on the rack. I find that I'm really pushing to kind of wear a bit more colors in my wardrobe and to kind of incorporate colors a little bit more. And there is nothing better than having all the colors kind of showcased on the rack, I think it's inspiring. I think it kind of makes you want to step out of your comfort zone. In the winter, usually I have all my coats here, like at least the coats that I usually tend to wear quite a lot. 
but for now i kind of just have a bunch of colors i have my me trousers that are hung here i have my own pleat say um trousers as well here um and just some of the things that i've kind of currently been wearing quite a bit like this um we young me vest um that i've kind of been getting a lot of wear out of i absolutely love this it is such a great layering a piece and just a piece that you can also wear on its own um so i have it on this rack right here and then um something like um my uh, common sweden shirt which i do tend to wear quite a lot during the um summer season and the spring season um so i also have it hung up here and yeah so the rack is just more so um i'll change it up depending on sort of my mood and sort of what i am currently feeling if there are any specific pieces that i'm kind of finding myself wearing quite a lot I'll usually put them here just because they're much easier to grab and go. And then I have like my hats um, that are at the top here, um, which I do tend to wear during the spring season and the summer. Um, and then a couple more hats. And um, one of the things that I like doing actually is uh, putting any of the tote bags that I wear, I kind of just put them on the side of my rack here and here and I can just grab one if I'm go growing, uh, if I'm going grocery shopping or if I'm just heading out to shoot. I just always have a tote available for me to pick up and go. And that's pretty much it. And at the bottom here, usually it's where I keep my, uh, my shoes, so my boots, my derbies, my sneakers for the gym. Um, and that's pretty much it on the rack. And then I'm gonna show you guys one more closet that I usually tend to keep all my sort of like gym wear and a couple like sweaters here and there that I'm maybe not wearing that much. This is my storage room. So one of the things that I forgot to actually mention is I am actually waiting on some lights that I'm gonna be putting in my closet, in my bedroom and in the storage room. Well, slash closet to be honest. So here, what I usually tend to do is I'll keep some of the pieces that I'm not necessarily wearing yet or um, that I'm maybe planning on wearing um during the spring season so like my sweater but i'm just not wearing that much so here we kind of have like the simple um florence black um sweaters here my turtleneck that i wore quite a bit during the winter but now i'm not getting that much wear out of so i'll usually leave that here and to be honest the space is just more so to create more space for my bedroom like i live alone so i usually can kind of disperse all my garments and put them all over the place um but i know where they are and i find that like for me having um this here is kind of nice especially for example like my um gym clothes so my gym attire i usually leave it here and the reason being is because a lot of the times if i'm planning on going for a run or if i'm going to a gym um i'll usually spend so much time kind of looking for a specific piece so what i started doing is all my gym pieces i usually leave them somewhere here um just so i know okay if i'm trying to wear this to the gym i can go ahead and pick it out and i know it's going to be my third closet and that's pretty much it so that is going to conclude today's video thank you all so much for tuning in now if you have any tips on just um how i should sort of optimize my space and utilize it if you have anything that you think i should buy for my wardrobe definitely make sure to leave a comment down below uh, i'm still kind of adding things uh here and there and i actually have some other clothing in my suitcase that I haven't pulled out and put on my uh, either on a rack or in my wardrobe. So definitely make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe and like. You know what it is. It helps the channel grow. Thank you all so much for tuning in once again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.